after so many weeks of trying to figure out that knee, it seemed like late in the season you finally found a schedule that would keep you on the field, the appendectomy notwithstanding. What what did you find? What did you learn? What, what, what did you find that, that maintained the knee the way you did the year? I think part of it was a, a growing process. The other part was just kind of what I was trying to explain to you guys. Is, uh, I had three surgeries on my knee in 18 months. So a lot of that is um, just getting time to let things heal and also just growing muscle so I can protect my knee and also uh, compete um, with the surfaces, with the pressures, with the, uh, the strength. Um, you know, kind of going into the season, it's kind of like, you know, uh, I look at the off season as putting on your armor and then going through season, you know, you, you get deteriorated throughout the year. So I don't have a chance to put on my armor. I, you know, I'm kind of going into war uh, unprotected. So uh, thankfully, I uh, did a really good job, you know, talking to uh, the training room, strength staff, I mean, even bringing people from outside, making sure I can get myself uh, to grow because football is not, uh, not uh, in any rehab that you do coming off of surgery. So uh, I think that was more the culmination. And then I really started my stride at the end of the year. And then obviously uh, unforeseen things like the appendectomy, that's, that was kind of a downer. But uh, I mean, you got to play the hand that you dealt. How did you do what you did, Dave? Um, you practice limited like twice a week, a lot of weeks. And then you go out there and just shut down whoever. How do you how do you play to that level when, when they say practice makes perfect, but you didn't get a whole lot of those practice reps? I, when you got to be a pro, um, I have a job. I have to do my job regardless of my circumstances. Um, two, I, it's very egotistical for me to say, but I don't really think I need too much practice at this point. Um, I think it's just kind of I, I've explained it to you and to other people before. I mean, I have. You know, at this point, 10 years of experience. I've done well over tens of thousands of pass sets. I've kind of seen it all and felt it all. So really, it's just uh, give me a couple of pass sets, a couple of aim points. You know, let me kind of fit my pads a little bit, and you know that all the everything banks into my head, and making sure I know who to block and what the game plan is, and things kind of make sense. I don't know if there's ever a normal routine for you guys, but next year, like, do you see it as more? Of a, you don't have to worry about all this stuff, and you just can have a normal week and play week after week. Is that, or is that never possible for you, given everything you've been through? No, I, I, I totally, I totally think so. Um, I don't even think. I, I honestly, I, I hate to admit, it, I do love practicing, so I probably can see that kind of coming in, coming back into my fold. Um, I don't want to give it up. I do enjoy it. I like competing. And I like uh, also being able to work um, with the other guys and kind of let them see kind of how I think and what I do, and you can only tell them so much. It's kind of fun to kind of show them. Um, and I like, you know, sometimes when we go good on good, it's always fun to kind of go against our defense because that's one one team that in season that we don't get to play. Your first answer, you said if you want to be a good football player. How important is it to be a good football player, not just a football player for you? I mean, I want to be a great football player, uh, not even good. Uh, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of sacrifice. Um, I think there's a, a lot of stuff that y'all don't see that uh, we have to go through, we have to do. Um, I think, you know, part of it when we were talking about, like, how to catch, catch a shred, I mean, I don't, you guys weren't in there, the first surgery, the second surgery, or the third surgery. You guys weren't there, the people I had to fly in, and I'm flying to places, and, you know, the things I'm doing, talking to Doc and going through it. it the last two years were definitely a lot. Um, and then also, you know, getting another surgery. I mean, I had four surgeries in two years. That sucked. I had to be put under, get into bed. Like, that's not fun. Um, I'm very blessed to be where I am today. Uh, through it all, because I knew that uh, I'm not going to let that define me. Like that's just the hand I'm dealt. And eventually, things will subside. The storm will go away. So as long as you keep sailing, we'll be good. Sorry, but you know, ten years in, in the last two years, it's just how motivated are you to kind of build that armor process up again? I'm mean, pumped. I don't have surgery uh, <laughs> set up right now, so that's fantastic. Uh, just got done talking to uh, Coach Buckus. So the, the main thing is I just get to train. Uh, the last two years have just been rehab, so it's nice to finally train. And like you had kind of mentioned, piggybacking off what I said, just to build my armor again, kind of get myself back and ready. I mean, I'll, I think for me, that's I also love training. Um, since working out with Clay all the time, I think uh, in the off season that was, I mean, some of the best memories I have of my career is the off season time.